a brand new trailer has dropped for Season 2 of Strange New Worlds. You may have thought that with the season already starting and already having gotten a this season trailer, there wouldn't be any more. But here we are! So as always, you will know the drill. We'll be breaking down the critical aspects of this trailer and what they can tell us about the season going forward. Are you excited for the rest of Strange New Worlds Season 2 via Paramount Plus? You know you're excited for Season 2. I am. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as the Trek Central team and I will deliver you all the update info straight to your YouTube subscription box. Quick, this is your spoiler warning. We'll show off a second season's accolades trailer. As such, it will contain previews of materials coming up. You've been warned. No, seriously, there are some deals here you probably don't want to miss, but also may not want to see. Okay, hit it. The first thing you see in this trailer is Pike with a new style of Delta badge on his uniform. At first, we thought this might be another Ultimate Timeline episode, similar to the third episode of Strange New World second season, having Kirk with a different Starfleet badge to denote an alt timeline. Would two alt timeline episodes be a bit much for a 10 episode season? Probably. Pondering on it, this might tell us a lot more and tie together Star Trek continuity even tighter. What if this is Pike Ass being promoted to Fleet Captain? We've already seen Admiralty badges in Strange New Worlds before. They have the Starfleet Delta with a black circle behind them and the laurel wreath of Delta surrounding them. Pike's new badge looks like this Admiralty badge with only two Deltas on this laurel wreath at the very bottom, perhaps denoting Fleet Captain. This style of badge was introduced in Star Trek Discovery, with a delta on a black circle and a delta royal wreath around it. Now in Star Trek Discovery, we saw a fewer sets of deltas the lower the rank, with Admiral having 6 delta pairs, Vice Admiral having 5 delta pairs, Rear Admiral having 4, you get the point. So Fleet Captain, a rank higher than Captain, having a single set of delta laurel leaves, it makes sense. But what does this mean? It does explain why Kirk may be in the Enterprise before he takes command of the ship. When asked originally if Kirk has met Pike in the Miraginary, Kirk responds, We met when he was first promoted to Fleet Captain. Everyone, and I mean every Star Trek fan, had always assumed this was only when Pike was transferred off of the ship to a training vessel, and then Kirk took command of the Enterprise. However, it seems that Strange New Worlds is playing with the assumption and going directly with what was said on screen. Fleet Captain is also a rank usually given for Squadron Command. Star Trek is very liberal with its use of naval ranks, but this could be related to the upcoming Gorn War or Gorn Conflict in Strange New Worlds. Could Pike be in command of a task force sent to deal with the Gorn intrusion into Federation space? Could this be how he's promoted to Fleet Captain and the prophecy of his life is unfolding? It would make sense. A mysterious structure can be seen in space when decided as a view of Strange New Worlds is shown on screen. We can't make out what this is, part of me wonders if it's something related to the Gorn, or perhaps a structure that everyone seems to have some sort of dream sequence in. We've spoken about that one in other trailer breakdowns and we'll cover it again in this video, stay tuned. Following the scene where Ortega's Dr. Mbenga and Nurse Chapel are celebrating something in sickbay, we see another familiar scene. This of two individuals in Starfleet spacesuits exiting a burning Federation starship via the bridge roof. We've seen multiple versions of this sequence before. It looks to be both Spock and Nurse Chapel evacuating a Constitution class or Sombra class starship. But what starship? Well, this is unfortunately likely to be the USS Cayuga, under Captain Battelle's command. She was most recently seen in episode 2 of Strange New Worlds on the prosecution side of Una's Starfleet trial. We theorised for some time that Battelle's starship might be defeated at the hands of the Gorn. We'll go over more of this in another section of the video, so stay tuned for that. Spock has Vulcan ears now! We've seen in other trailers that something odd happens with Mr. Spock. He almost appears human in one of the episodes. In this trailer, he is not acting like a Vulcan typically does. He can be seen punching the air rather rapidly, maybe celebrating. For a while, we've seen footage of Ahura and Kirk interacting in Season 2 of Strange New Worlds. It looks to be Kirk consoling Ahura about death and how to face it. This then flips to Kirk seemingly holding Ahura hostage. We've even seen them drinking the new bar on the ship. This trailer shows them presumably meeting for the first time, shaking hands in that very new bar set of the series, which looks awesome by the way. The people in the scene in the background do interest me. They look somewhat very out of place. One looks to be wearing a shirt and a vest, with the other having a light on his shoulder. Perhaps just downtime? Pike can be heard saying, they don't make them like they used to anymore, huh? That seems like a glimpse of the upcoming Star Trek The Lower Decks crossover episode. I've not got much to say about that one, we've already done a handful of videos and articles on this covering that crossover. A recent trailer also gave us a glimpse of that as well. Now in another quick shot, and you've got to pause the trailer to see it, we'll chuck it on screen now, we see a beam hitting an anomaly in a previous trailer, which looks to be coming from the Enterprise. So we make up a classic channel energy pulse through the deflector dish to disrupt the anomaly. This manoeuvre has been used numerous times in multiple different iterations of the Star Trek universe. 
We are wondering if it's related to the memory cloud thing. Yes, I know that is not a technical name, which has been seen in other trailers. We've seen our Stranger Worlds characters walking around in some sort of room. Maybe, perhaps Pike and the others are trying to extract an away team who have become trapped. This scene could relate to the space-like structure we see early on. Maybe a version of a cloaking technology? That could be pretty cool. The colours of this anomaly remind me of another scene which is in the trailer, that of Ahura, Ortigas and Chapel in the cave with similar lights surrounding them. This could be like a Nexus-like anomaly, while the Nexus traps people in happy alternate scenarios, surrounded by loved ones, could this anomaly trap its prey in a traumatic memory? This could be why Ahura sees the shuttlecraft that claimed her family. This anomaly is making her relive those memories, whether the anomaly is doing it for good, making sure she can come to terms with what happens and move past it, or the anomaly is doing this for nefarious means, trapping people within it. Now in a few scenes, we see some sort of lawless going on where roguish characters are fighting with handmade tools and generally being irritating to one another. We've got more to say on this scene at a later date, it's likely the planet of Rigel 7 and could relate to one of Pike's previous adventures before Strangely Worlds even began. That's pretty cool and we've got to stay tuned for that one, we'll do a whole different video on that at another time because it's a bit more of a complicated topic. We have seen shots in early trailers and this shot of a Gorn mothership appearing in atmosphere over this colony. Captain Patel of the USS Cayuga was on this planet when the attack happened. Hopefully nothing bad will happen to her, though if it does it will make it personal for Pike, who might violate orders and go to the colony to try and save her. Patel can be heard saying, my god, as the ship approaches and looks to land on the planet. If the USS Cayuga is in orbit of the planet, when the Gorn mother ship attacks, the ship will likely not fare well. We have seen shots of a Constitution class starship being destroyed above a planet, with Spock in an EVA suit and another who could be Nurse Chapel. We've already seen this planet seemingly after the attack in previous trailers, with things set on fire, no people, and Gorn children running around. Freaky. In another trailer, there is a shot of Captain Pike leading an away team down in tactical gear to investigate what is likely the same planet. It does make me think this gets personal with Pike, especially if the tail is missing or taken captive by the Gorn. The Enterprise can be seen throwing an asteroid into an asteroid field. Whether this might link with a Gorn conflict or something else, who knows. It could be a random weird space episode and let's be honest we've seen starships chuck asteroids before and things like that. So anything's possible, it's Star Trek. Kind of classic in a way. Oh Records are made to be broken. You... Records are made to be broken. Kirk is talking to what looks to be a science officer here. From the fact his ears look not to be pointy, this is either human Spock, which I doubt it is, or it could be Spock's brother who is serving on the Enterprise, Sam Kirk. This would make sense, as I don't think they would introduce Spock and Kirk too much at this point in the timeline. It'll be interesting to see the brother's relationship, considering we've never seen that on screen, and we only see them in the original series when one's already dead, so yeah. Chief Engineer Pele's uniform is very messy here, it looks like she's been in some sort of tough combat situation. Thanks to another trailer that features Ahura prominently, we know there might be a plot point of some sort of saboteur aboard the Enterprise. Likely the scene is related to this, and maybe Pelly has been full of I found evidence of sabotage. A version of all this was seen in another trailer for the second season, where Spock, or rather human Spock, drops the F bomb. What's happened to me? We don't exactly know. What the? A scene I did not think would happen in Star Trek Strange New Worlds. But here we are, and it probably works. Well, I say it works, we need to wait for the episode to actually see how it unfolds. Okay, there are some other scenes in this trailer, some we've been shown in the first two episodes, and others we've spoken about before. Therefore, we didn't mention them in this breakdown. You can watch our other full season two Strange New Worlds breakdown on the YouTube channel for that. I'd recommend it if you want to get more context on some other clips we didn't talk about. But then again, we've seen Klingon so far, and we've seen the courtroom scene, so. Ultimately, this is short and sweet as a trailer. Its purpose is to highlight the reviews of Strange New World, and it's meant to be one airing to encourage more viewers to watch the show. I will say, while I'm excited to see Pike wearing the Fleet Captain badge, I think leaving out that out would have been a smarter idea. Sure, it's just a small detail and not a major spoiler, but it depends on how it fits into the story of Strange New World and the Star Trek universe overall. Regardless, I'm very excited to see the rest of Season 2. If you want to keep up to date on all the latest Star Trek news, lore and more, hit that subscribe button down there somewhere to never miss a video from a teammate at Trek Central. You can also follow us on social media or join our community Discord server. For now, I've been Captain Jack. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time, guys. Live long and prosper. Goodbye.